Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Clone Shell. Up to now, we've written our Clone Shell program such that we type a name in, the name of the Clone Shell program, we hit enter, it runs, sometimes it will prompt us for input, and we give it the input it wants. Now, today, what we're going to go over is how you can take and write a program so that it will actually accept arguments along with the name of the program. Now, inside of a corn shell program, dollar sign zero becomes the name of the program as you typed it in with whatever path you typed in with the name. So in this case, dollar sign zero is dot slash CLA.KSH. The first argument that you enter, in this case it's 1, becomes known as dollar sign $1. Your second argument you enter, in this case it's 0, becomes dollar sign $2. Your third argument becomes dollar sign $3, and so on, all the way up until the tenth argument. This is where it gets a little interesting. This becomes dollar sign curly brace 10 curly brace. And the reason for that is if you put dollar sign 1 followed by a 0, corn shell would think that you are trying to access the value within dollar sign 1 and then append a 0 to it. That's why the last lesson we went over those curly brace stuff with variable names. So this will be dollar sign curly brace 11 curly brace, and this would be dollar sign curly brace 12 curly brace. Let's run this program, and then afterwards we'll look at the code. So as you can see, the script name became this right here with the dot slash in front. The first argument was in fact 1. The second argument passed to the corn shell program when it executed was in fact 0. And the 11th argument was in fact R1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the number of arguments passed to the program was in fact 12. We entered 12 command line arguments. Let's look at the code at how you would actually pass these parameters inside of the corn shell script. So, dollar sign zero is the name of the program as entered on the command line. For example, slash my scripts slash gm slash file dot ksh is dollar sign zero as this. Now if we had entered file.ksh followed by these two values, dollar sign zero would just be file.ksh. So we're just going to print a blank line, then afterward we want to print the name of the program. And it is in fact dollar sign zero. Works out. First argument, as you know, was one. And the second argument that we entered was zero. To access them, you put a dollar sign one and a dollar sign two. And it does work out. Now, the next thing I wanted to go over was this right here. Dollar sign one is not a very descript name for a variable. So when you get a variable passed in from the command line, it's good to assign it to a more meaningful name. In this case, I just said dollar sign one was test score, if that's what the program was all about. The other thing 
is that there are some commands within Corn Shell that can actually overwrite dollar sign one or erase dollar sign one or erase any of your arguments that you enter. So if, if dollar sign one is really important to you, then save it off somewhere. Next, once again, the 11th value, you would have to put dollar sign curly brace, 11 curly brace. And that's because if you entered dollar sign one, one, corn shell would think that you are trying to access the first argument and put the value right here and then append a number one to it. So you do have to have curly braces around it. And as you can see, the 11th arg is dollar sign curly brace, 11 curly brace, R1, R1. And the last thing was that we entered 12 arguments, it came out 12. And to do that, there's a special variable within corn shell. It's called dollar sign pound dollar sign number sign however you want to call it and that holds the number of positional parameters that you entered on the command line once again if you start overwriting or deleting the positional parameters within your corn shell script this number is going to change so it's really how many positional parameters the corn shell script knows about at that point. As we haven't deleted any or done anything wild, the number is 12 at this point, which is the number that 12 command line arguments that we entered.